Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Long Pamai, and in this short video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to add a right click context menu to user form controls so you can use your right click mouse button to copy, paste, etc., uh, as you would uh, normally do with uh, normal Windows dialog. Um, I've tested this for Office 365, um, both uh, 32 bit and 64 bit, but if you encounter issues with other versions, please do let me know in the comments. Uh, before we begin, if you haven't, please do not forget to subscribe for latest updates and also to support my channel. Uh, also, in case you missed our prior episodes, uh, you can find them from the UI and UX uh, series playlist. Okay, so for this demonstration, I'm going to use this form from our prior episode. Uh, so normally in the user form controls, you don't get a right click menu uh, like you would normally in, you know, like, for example, in a worksheet, when you right click, you get an option to cut, copy in, uh, and so on. Okay, so we're gonna create a context menu. We have done a similar exercise in Ribbon X and custom menu videos, so we will do this in the VB editor itself, okay? So I'm gonna go to the user form. Uh, so go to view your code from the user form, okay? And let's call this uh, um, populate right click menu let's call this okay uh first we will need a tag let's call this constant menu name as string we'll just tag this uh name as temp menu all right and i'll copy this so first um with um common burst dot add and then the name will be this name, and we will um, use the pop-up, MSO bar pop-up, okay? And with Now, within this menu, we are going to add um, controls. So with dot controls. And then we will add um control button, okay? So we'll just use the MSO, where's the control button in here it is. Okay, and let me just copy paste this here. So using with this, we're gonna create a button within it. That will be a menu, and then on action, uh you can specify what you want to run. So let's say you want to, uh, let's just call it macro one for now, okay? And then we'll say caption, uh, what will be the caption for this? Let's say we want to put, um, let's see. So cut, maybe first cut, copy, paste, like that, yeah? Um, so we'll call this cut. Now, if you want like, uh, you know, like underline uh, to certain text uh, from the menu, you can put a, you know, like uh, ampersand like this. Oh, sorry, like this. So that will show up uh, under C. So if you want T to be underlined, then you put in like this, yeah? So for this, it makes sense to have it. Um, oops. Whoa, I'm using non-English keyboard, so it's Okay, so this will be it. Now, um, let's just try this. I'm just gonna try to, when I click this, I want to. Menu. Okay, it's not showing. And then, uh, sorry, I just need to put show. Yeah, uh, that should show the pop-up. Um, so I just click and it show me the cut menu. Okay, so let's quickly replicate this before we can add um, other things. So first cut um, and then copy. Um, I'll change the name of the macro um, in a bit. And then we can add uh, select clear. Uh, 
let's call this clear and then maybe last will be select in case you want to select the content in the for example in the text box um, so we can select now for select let's say we want this to be in front of l l underlined so when you press l it will select yeah though i can shortcut for clear maybe i'll just do r and then for copy i'll just do it b e. okay so let's try again okay uh we need to delete um before we can do it again so um bars and then whatever the name is dot delete um let's do on error in case if it is not there then it's gonna error so i'm just gonna do on error uh resume next on error go to zero and i think that that should be it yeah, so under C is underline P is underline and so on. So we have the menu. But when you click on it, uh, there's no macro, you know, like one yet. So it's not going to run. Okay, so that is how we can add the menu uh, here. Uh, maybe we can have this so delete menu. Or something like that. And then we can call this once we, uh, before, you know, as soon as it pops up, it will delete and recreate a new one. And then once the micro is clicked and it's done, pause that, we also want to delete it again. So I'll just put it here at the bottom as well. Okay, so that will be it as far as uh, the menu once we have the code. Um, so once I click here, it's now showing um, the menu, right? So now let's say that we want to uh, populate this menu, not when the label is clicked, but um, when uh, it is right click on the text box, for example. So let's try this. So instead of right click, we're gonna use uh, mouse, mouse up, okay? In a mouse up, I'm just gonna do this. And uh, instead of just uh, directly showing if it is right click, so we can populate using this button. Then we can say if button um, is equal to two, so the mode, is two that is the right click then only we want to show it instead of all the time okay let's try this so this on the first one i just right click and the uh the menu shows okay um so now assess the macro one is not there yet so but now you get the idea how to have this now i'm gonna have this in other text box as well um it's gonna Add it here as well in the mouse up. Okay, for now I'll just add it in this tree. Right click, right click, right click. I've not added here, so it's not going to show up. But you get the idea. So wherever you want this to be replicated, you can do it in that fashion. Now I'll just quickly. Uh, write a small code as well to handle you know like uh when clicked and so on for now um let's put the name here dummy names let's call this text box uh text box cut and then this will be copy Just clear and this will be to select all. select all okay uh, select this one just so select the items within the next box for example okay um so now i'm gonna just copy this and go in here let me just put it like this for now Okay, so first we will need um, a sub-procedure called this. So 
third um, and then we'll need we'll clear and then one for select and I think we can also have it for paste We'll add one more button. Cut, copy, paste. Let's call this list. And okay. Copy, cut, okay, now uh, for this to work, um, this is just to launch the user form, as you know, now we will create uh, a text box object uh, for this demonstration, let's call this public, um, text box object as um, ms forms dot uh, text box. Okay. now we'll use this text box um, first will be to um, to clear let's say we want to clear so we'll just say this dot text so you can uh, assign the method directly related to the text box from the user form okay um, so go to blank. This will be the clear, and then this will be the paste. Um, not paste, and then this will be to uh, copy, and this one to select. So for select, basically you can assign the land uh, for select. So for example, this one. Um, this dot select start will be you know like the starting position for select and then uh the end position will be the length of this dot select length so like the mid uh function that we use the land will give the total count of this particular whatever value is there within the within the particular text box Okay, so that will be all the methods that we need. Um, okay. Um, so now, uh, what we can do, we can just try and test this out once. Just give me one second. So for this text box to work, we need to assign this um, when we assign the menu. So here we're saying that if it is right click, then we say populate this. At the same time, we want to specify which uh, text box it's working with. Okay, so we'll say this object uh, is equal to and then whatever object you're working with at that time. So you can assign in this version. Okay. And um, that should be it. Now, when the user form closes, we want to terminate or close. You can just clear the memory. I think that should be it. Let's do this for other text box as well. So, our description. This one is for our underscore okay so this is basically the name of the control okay okay so let's test this out hopefully it works okay so now I'm gonna go here and maybe my and I'm gonna copy come back here right click paste Okay, so it seems to be pasting. Now if I select and say clear, it's gonna clear it. If it's, I can say cut, 
If I select and cut, oh, cut doesn't work. All right, let's give it a, uh, let's check this out. Uh, what about select? If I do this and say select, so select seems to be working. Um, only cut is not working. Okay, so let's try for cut. I think we missed uh, to update this. Oh, okay, that's my bad. So let's start cut. Right. I'll cut this and paste it here. All right. So guys, that's going to be all for this video. I hope you found this informative. Uh, if so, do not forget to leave a like and please do share the videos. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.